What's up my love bugs and love muffins? This is Mama Love and I am back with a video. A late night video. Um, as y'all can hear Terrell upstairs laughing. Me and him was supposed to be doing a video together. But he said that we could do it tomorrow because I guess he playing Fortnite or whatever he up there doing. Watching some show or something. But I'm down here. And I was just straightening up a little bit. I went to Walmart today and got a little things for cleaning. And I'm just going to clean the house up before I leave out again on uh, Tuesday. We were just here on some business. I have been looking for places in Michigan. Uh, I'm kind of lenient. I mean, like, I don't know. I got back in my house and was like, dang, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's up with me. I gotta find out what it is when it seems like I'm moving all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with me? And I know I do this. And it has been said to me too. I know a lot of other people, it caught their attention. Um, especially in my family too. My brother was like, if you, you need to get somewhere and, and sit your, you know, the A word, still. Because you move too much, you know. And I do. And I do. And it's almost like, it's like I'm trying to find, you know, I'm, I'm learning that happiness is not in a place. You know, happiness is within yourself, you know, because I feel like, oh, if I move here, I'm going to be happy. Or well, if I move, no, I got to move over here. I'm going to be happy. I'll be happy here. I know I'm going to be happy. And then I move and then it, and it'll be something else. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not happy. And um, I'm happy, like, with, with everything that I was blessed with, you know, I'm happy and um, I'm grateful and um but it's like when I go to Michigan, it's like everybody I'm around, you know, my crew that I'm around, I'm happy, you know. But then I find myself kind of like uh, reneging and not off the people that um, I love, but, you know, just the same old, like, you know, troubles, the same old backbiting people, the same old problems and stuff, you know. And I just seem like when I moved away, you know, you're going to have problems wherever you go. And I just happen to got, get some new problems. And they kind of feel better than the uh, old problems, you know. But it's like when I went to Michigan and I went back there, it was like just, it seemed like it was starting to be drama. I'm not no drama person. I just want to be peaceful. And I just want to live my life in peace and make sure I treat everybody right. So that when, um, you know, it comes around for that... Uh, reaping season that I sowed some good you know what I'm saying because you do reap what you sow you know and so I'm careful of that now it does not mean I'm mistreating you because I distance myself from you it just this means I don't want to be in no mess and I, I don't you know I don't want to be in no type of trouble you know but um I'm just here you know just you know I was just thinking on things and I was like well why not make a video you know just because you know anybody heard from you or whatever but I was thinking on about thinking about yourself and you know sometimes how we got to be selfish and it's very hard for me to be selfish because I'm not a selfish person I always think about others happiness before I think about mine you know and um but it's like this time around I kind of want to be selfish you know I kind of want to be selfish so this was why I'm saying this I was looking for you know a house for you know everybody and um, this house was beautiful that I found in Michigan. And um, I just didn't like the fact that the bathrooms were mm, kind of on the ugly side to me. You know, other people, they might have been pretty. They had their own, you know, touch. It was somebody else's touch to it. It was their wallpaper and, you know, the way they would put things and have things. And I'm not like that. So, I mean, I'm not a wallpaper, I mean, wallpaper person. And, uh... So, I mean, but other than that, <clears throat> the house was beautiful. The kitchen was beautiful. The the way it was set up, it had the tall, tall windows inside the family room. And you go upstairs and it had a sitting area and you look down over the, um, uh, the, the railing upstairs, the balcony, and you can see downstairs in the family room. And it had the double doors in my bedroom. And it was just, it was just real, it was so, so pretty, you know. Had a big deck on the back of the house, you know what I'm saying? But it was just a few flaws that, you know, I looked and saw 
that, you know, may have been petty to others, but, you know, was big to me, you know. And so I didn't go with that house. I didn't, I turned that house down. And then I was eyeballing this condo. And, uh, oh my God, that condo was beautiful. But the uh, square footage that it was, it wasn't, it was like, it was kind of like, um, you know, 1,500, 1,506 square feet. And I know this house has got to be about, I want to say 20, 23. It's 2,000 something. And I'll put it like that and leave it because this is a big house. You know, pictures, you know, uh, uh, it, pictures don't do, I ain't cleaned up y'all, I'm being real. Uh, pictures, got the vet where I was about, I am about to. Pictures don't do justice for the size of this kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do justice at all. And, uh, and even upstairs hallways and, and things like that. It, it doesn't, it doesn't do justice because it's a very large, the, the bathroom space. I mean, in my bathroom, it's like very large bathroom, you know, and uh, I was giving that up. Um, not giving it up, but you know, at the other house in Michigan, I had my own bathroom and I didn't have a double sink. Uh, the shower was big and beautiful. Um, it was nice and, and, and lit up, but it did not have the space that it has here. When I go in my bathroom, it's a big old walk-in bathroom. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all saw when I did the house tour with the double sinks and you got your own, the toilet room is a separate door and the big garden tub and the big shower and stuff. And then you got this big walk-in closet that when Keisha came over here, that's where her spot was. You could put a twin bed in there and she had her little stuff up in there. She was tucked away. But anyway, it was just a space and amount the size of my room that um, it's kind of hard to let go. It's kind of like, I wish I could just shrink my house and, and, and drive it to Michigan and un unfold it and put it somewhere where I want to put it. But so it's just, the um, you know, some of the spaces that I was losing. And then not to mention the street, um, the area of the houses were beautiful, but the street that um, was on like, it's like I know in Michigan, it's like a lot of snow and ice and all that type of stuff. And when that leaves from the salt eats up the, you know, the concrete and everything and the cement and it makes big potholes. Well, for, for, for that area to be nice like it was, they had some raggedy streets in that neighborhood. I'm like, I can't do this, you know? And it just seems like the houses were just a little bit closer where in Georgia, it seems like they kind of like, you know, spread it out. They got you know, you got space and stuff like that. So those are one of the things that I uh, decided about. But getting back to the condo though, uh, I wanted to be selfish and take that condo because that condo had uh, in it um, fireplace in the bedroom. Um, the bathroom was like beautiful. Um, it has the same thing I had upstairs, but the way it was decorated, it was like in gray stone. And um, it had one of those sit down showers where you has got the gray stone big stone where it's like built in where you can seat it where you can sit in the shower and then on this side it had the big garden uh, tub and it was just beautiful and um hardwood floors of course uh in the kitchen but not hardwood i want to call them something like these or i don't know i want to say kind of like vinyl floors or something like that but it was real pretty and um had a family room downstairs um but the square footage of it was like, mm, because I'll be standing in the kitchen and it was like, I need kitchen space, like somewhat like this for my cooking videos. Cause I was thinking about my cooking videos. And then I was just thinking about how like, no, I'm not going to have no counter space. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I cook them big meals. I need to be able to stretch out and stuff, you know, and I wasn't able to stretch out and, um, it had a, a dining room and then it had a living room area. Well, even though that was a 1,506 square foot space, some in me just wanted that just because of the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? I was willing to sacrifice, you know, on the cooking. And somewhat kind of wanted to be selfish, you know. When Tina, um, she looked at it with me, she was like, Mama, I like it, but it's kind of like we, we, we too crowded. You know, we too, you know, I ain't, you know, we, I'm, it used to being spread it out. You know what I'm saying? I'll be upstairs and I'm yelling downstairs. The kids can't hear me because, you know, it's got that good installation and, you know, it's, it's a big enough house where, you know, you got to like, yell or call downstairs, you know. And um, so, but I kind of wanted it because I wanted to be selfish and think about myself. But nevertheless, um, somebody offered more for it and they got it. But that was fine because it kind of relieved something in me when they um, they got it. 
like, well, that wasn't for me. Because I know if I want something and I put my, my mind to it, I just go to God and ask him, you know. And he always makes a way. He always opens the door like he, he has been. But I wanted to get back to saying, you know, about the happiness. I have to find out, you know, what's going on within me. Why do I move all the time? It's like I'm moving every year. You know, I'm moving, you know. I, I don't even want to count the houses back from Euclid. Euclid is... I, I stayed there. Euclid and Fort Park Street and Lincoln Park was the longest places that I stayed. But other than that, before that, it was every year I was moving. Well, no, not our first place in MacArthur. I stayed there for a long time. I stayed there for six years. And, um, but it was like just year after year. And it went from after I left Euclid, then I went and got me a, um, a one bedroom condo. And the kids were in Alabama with their father. And then, um, I stayed there a year I left. I went and moved back in with my ex-husband. And um, we got a place in Alabama, a nice, beautiful home. And then, um, you know, how things go. And then I, I moved from there. And I keep saying every time I move, oh, I'll just be happy if I if I just get here. Or I'll be happy if I move to Alabama and, and, you know, and I get this house, you know. I'll be happy here, you know. And then I get there and I'm happy. And then it's like situations, you know, occur. And then all of a sudden I'm not happy no more, you know. And then I say, oh, I, I like Atlanta. It's big. I just feel like if I'm in Atlanta, I'm going to be happy. Excuse me. So I got to Atlanta and I was happy. And then situations occur. And um, now it's like, oh, I got to go back to Michigan because this time I feel like I'm happy if I go to Michigan, you know, because everybody around me, you know what I'm saying? And it's not, and, it's, and that, that part is true because all my, like I said, my, my road dogs is around me, you know, all my, my friends and, and, you know, my family, me and my brother, me and him made amends. I thank God for my brother. I thank God for all three of my brothers. Um, it, it was me and Terrence that was the closest, but Terrence has been away for a minute. Keep him in prayer. And uh, my uh, my baby brother, you know, he's doing his own thing and stuff like that. Me and my older brother, he's a year older than me. And me and him had got real close. And we've been talking. And um, we talked on the phone for six hours, me and my brother. And um, we just made amends and became real close. You know, decided to let things go um, in the past that, you know, We've been kind of going through as siblings. We let go, and so we got close, and the bond is back close. And so I thought, oh, I want to be close to my brother because it's not a day to go by he don't call me and say, what's up? I want to hear from my sister every day, you know? And I talk to my brother um, every day. I try to, not every other day. And I thought about Michigan for that, being, being back close, bonding, you know, with uh, relationships with, the family that you know some of my lost out on some of i i ain't keeping contact with so that was the reason why i want to you know go back to michigan but nevertheless though it's always a situation that causes me to be like you know i'm leaving here you know and i think i'm a runner i just i just gotta i just gotta face what i am and keep it real i'm a runner I feel like I'm in one of those AA meetings. Like I'm an alcoholic. You got, I mean, we, it's true, y'all. We gotta admit our problems. Uh, I am a runner. I run from church to church. You know, it's like ah, oh, they said this to me. They said that I'm leaving. You know, there's no stability there. You know what I'm saying? And that's not good. It's not good. And, and to answer y'all question, Tina and Terrell is online. They're on online schooling. Um, but thank God for that because you know they moved a lot. And I guess Queen was telling some stories in her documentary where. You know, you know, she did have a life where, you know, we was moving a lot. It's moving all the time, just moving, you know. And um, I'm, 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 I'm going to be 49 years old. And I'm thankful for, you know, God, Lord willing, that I, I turn 49, I'll be here, you know. And, um, but it had, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be 49 years old. And it's taken me some time. To actually sit and I sat and thought just the other day. It hit me. Like, Reva, when are you gonna sit still? When are you gonna be stabilized somewhere? Where is your stability? What's wrong? You know? And and it's and it's like, you know, I, I need counseling. I need counseling. I I I need to talk to someone. I mean, 
Yeah, they say pray to God about it and stuff like that. And that's true, you know, he's a wonderful counselor, you know. But I also do believe that God gives people gifts. And, you know, one of their gifts, uh, gifts he has is for, you know, psychology. And, you know, find out what's those deep-seated problems that we have inside of us that we run. I just want to know why I keep running. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand why I keep running. And right now it's like as I talk about it, I almost want to tear up inside. Like, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. But it's something inside me that it causes me to not deal with a situation. But this just came to my mind, y'all. I'm thinking. Um, when I was, um, you know, I was a troubled teenager. When I was like 18 or 19 years old, I went to a psychologist, a counselor. A counselor, psychologist, psychiatrist, I think they're the same thing. And I went, it was counseling. It was Christian counseling. And uh, I remember saying to my counselor about things that bothered me. And I said, um, you know, like, like situations. I told him that stuff happened to me, things people say. You know, I'm very sensitive. Uh, well, back then. Sometimes I'm still still what sensitive, but I'm, I got a little hardness in me. I didn't got hard, you know. Where I, I'll get back with you, you know. But um, I know that that nature also has to die too because we ain't supposed to be like that as Christians. So, but I remember telling this counselor how this happens to me and this makes me feel like this when you know someone does this to me or or or, or someone says this about me or. You know, this person embarrassed me or they, they wait till I get around people and they do things to me and, you know. And I remember him saying to me, walk away. I was like, what? Like, you know, like, what? He said, just walk away. He said, so what? Let them do things. People do things when they're vindictive. They like to do things to get you back. They like to do things to hurt you. And he said it to me back then. Hurt people hurt people, you know. He said, but you don't have to put up with that. You simply just walk away. Just leave the situation and say, you know what? Tell them I don't have to deal with this. I don't have to put up with this. And you walk away. And I think that part stuck to me. You know, it stuck to me. And um, I'm like that. I don't care what situation I'm in. I don't care who I'm around, what state I'm in. It's like if I'm going through something and I feel like a person is putting me through some things or, you know, I just feel like I don't have to deal with it. I just walk away, you know. And um, and I don't know if that's the cause of me always moving all the time, but it's sure not no good thing because, you know, it's going to cause my kids, you know what I'm saying, to do that. And, um, you know, like I said, every parent ain't perfect. You know, I ain't never did drugs or smoked and had sex and got drunk all in front of my kids. You know, um, I always stuck with my kids. You know, and I and I and I would move every environment I, I ever put my kids in. I must say though, was a good environment. Um, I always been. You know, I came from a middle class family. My, my, we always had nice things. My mom and dad always had a beautiful home. You know, it's not nothing new, you know, to me. I grew up in that type of lifestyle and, um, and nice cars. You know, my dad was a working man. He was an engineer executive at Ford Motor Company. And my mother owned um, a hair salon. So we, you know, there were business people and we just, we just had, you know, nice things and stuff, but it's just, um, I never put my kids in an environment to where I had to move. And that's the thing. It's like, oh, we got to get out of here. They're shooting and stuff. You know, it was nothing like that. It was always a beautiful place. Like it is now, for the example. Um, it was in Alabama. It was um, in Michigan. It was, you know, just moving from house to house. And it was just always... I don't know. It was always situations. It was always situations that occurred that would make me leave. I need to stop. I need to find help. You know, I need to I need to talk to somebody. Um because that's not good. You know, I was looking at my um sister, um Elise, and she moved to her place when I moved to my place. I think Elise moved back in 2003, I want to say, and I moved to Studebaker. 
And, and she's still in that place is what I'm trying to say. I ain't been in about 10 or 15 different homes. I don't know. I just be moving. Moving, moving, moving. I'm a, I'm a type of person I like to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like to travel. I should have been a driver. You know, I love to drive. I drive. I be gone. It, it's no problem for me to drive state to state. You know, it's no problem. I'd rather drive than fly because, um, you know, I don't be trusting them planes and stuff. But, you know, she's she's very stable, you know. And and I'm pretty sure your your, your kids, when you stay in the same spot and they, you know, you get a, a, a solid foundation that you up under, um, you're stable. You're more uh, a stable person. And so I, I guess that would go along with mental, too. It's like, you know, stability, un unstable, you know, person. It's not... You know, your kid's not going to be grounded. You know, I'm looking at my niece and nephew, you know, nephews, they're, they're grounded. You know what I'm saying? They've been to the same school. They grew up with the same friends. You know, my kids didn't switch schools, uh, switch friends, you know. Um, some of them still kept kept up with each other, but, you know, they just, you know, switched schools so much. And I'm kind of glad that Tina and Terrell is online, you know, um, because of that. But I need to get somewhere. I need to get settled. So if I'm going to move out this house, wherever I go, whether it's back to Michigan or I decide to stay here because if I decide to stay in Georgia I'm parking it right here I'm not I'm not moving nowhere else but if I if I do move to Michigan which I, I know I'm much happier um I like the fact that me and my kids were all in the same state in Atlanta I liked it, the fact of that but when I get ready to roll out it's like only so much you know your friends well, I, you know some people say you can move travel back and forth yeah true but then you don't want to be you know as long as I stay in Michigan I don't want to wear my welcome out, which I, I know I, I don't. I love Keyshandra. That's my sister. That's my landing spot. And um, I, I don't wear out my welcome, but I, I wouldn't like to, you know, just be on her like that. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a different, lot of places I can go, you know. Um, my mom's house and I could go to different ones, houses and stuff like that. But, you know, it's almost like you want your own, you know, that you could be, you know. But I want my kids to be stable. And I know it's never too late for nothing. It's never too late. So, um, if I move back to Michigan, I'm there. I'm there, you know. I just want my kids to be stable. And I want for us to get some help. You know, I want, I want counseling myself. But, you know, I'll speak for myself. I'll put it like that. But, um... I need some counseling. I really do. So that's what's going on with me, y'all. Um, I'm good and everything. Nothing, you know, no long, drawn out sob story. But I'm just talking to y'all about some things that I'm just facing in my life. And I'm realizing that I'm running, you know. And what am I running from, you know? Whatever it is, I got to stay and I, and I just, I just got to stand and I just got to face that problem. And I know it's crazy because people have been telling me this for years. Like, Reva, Reva, you know, stop. Stand still and let God. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Quit running. Quit running. It's like I'm almost running. Like it's like I'm almost like I'm chasing happiness or something. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just keep me lifted, I guess. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, may not been a word of encouragement. I'm usually uh, on here to encourage, but I guess I guess I'm just on here pouring out. You know, maybe I'm encouraging in a different type of way. Don't be unstable. That's not good. A double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. So I must be double-minded somewhere. I don't know. But just keep me in prayer, y'all. I just wanted to chat with y'all. Well, hopefully me and Terrell have a video out tomorrow. And I um, just want to update y'all on some other stuff. But I just want to tell y'all I love y'all. Peace out in Jesus' name.